Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Chris and this is A Glimpse Inside. Thanks for joining me today. In this series, we take a look at projects on a little bit of a smaller scale. They think outside the box, they're fun, they give you that sense of accomplishment that you made something with your hands and they don't take you all day. So come join me as we take a quick look at what we came up with this week. All right, let's get right into it, guys. This is a piece of laminate I found at my local salvage yard. They sold this to me for around $2. It really isn't kitchen worthy anymore, so, but it's perfect for shop applications like this. Anyway, the Baltic birch plywood I'm using is 3 quarters of an inch thick and another sheet at 1 quarter of an inch thick. I'm going to go ahead and apply some contact cement to both surfaces of the laminate and the wood. Once that gets tacky in about 15 minutes, I lay it on there and I go ahead and decide to clamp this overnight, giving me a really strong, secure bond. Once this bond was permanent, I went ahead and took my router and used a flush trim bit to trim it all to size. You know the satisfaction of tearing the cellophane off of a brand new product? Well, that didn't happen here. This is from a salvage yard, what'd you expect? Once the quarter sheet piece was cut in half, I started making my blanks here out on the table saw. I switched over to a chamfer bit on my router and I tested one of these. It looks really good. I was very happy with that, so I went ahead and cut the rest of them. The reason I chamfer these top edges is to break the corners. These can be very sharp. So now with a little bit of hand sanding, I go through this process and now you can see I'm starting to make some clipboards. I dust these off a little bit before I measure out to where these clips are gonna be. I make sure that they're equidistant from each side and right at the very top. I go ahead and drill holes in one of them. Once I'm satisfied with how they look, I put that one on each of the others as reference marks so I can go ahead and drill those all at once. The clips came with their own rivets, but I prefer to use brass screws. This process went very fast because I drilled all those pilot holes, and here they are. Okay, moving on to the second project of the video. I take some of that same stock and I cut some strips on the table saw. I get my crosscut sled out, I put a stop block in place, and I make sure I have four and a quarter inch squares. Six of them in total. And just like before, these edges are extremely sharp, so I implore this chamfer bit again. Once I'm satisfied with the result, I check it out. Man, Baltic Burst looks good, doesn't it? I like how these are turning out. Now it's time to soften all the edges once and for all. A little hand sanding as well with the palm sander does the trick nicely. I take some of the remaining quarter inch stock, and I'm gonna go ahead and mark these little holes in each corner for the base. You'll see why in a second. I use my drill press for this, but you can use a hand drill as well. I then take this piece over to the crosscut sled, making sure I have a perfect square. Okay, I got some 3 eighths of an inch brass stock here. I'm cutting it into two and a quarter inches. I need eight pieces. I go ahead and chuck these up in my drill and use my belt sander to clean them up. It really does brighten up the brass quite a bit. Now once the belt sander's taken off most of the material to kind of clean them back up again, I use a series of Scotch-Brite pads to really drive this process home and clean up those brass pieces very nicely. And there you go, eight identical pieces of brass ready to go. I went ahead and softened the edges of the base off camera and now I'm putting some blue painter's tape on those holes. Reason being, some of the super glue is gonna go in these holes and I don't want that to bleed through to my workbench. I decided to glue these brass pins in place even though they're a pretty strong friction fit. I just figured a little extra security wasn't a bad idea. Well now you can hopefully see it coming together. Six coasters, custom made, held in place with some brass. Kind of a fun project. And here they are in their final form. Those clipboards turned out so cool. Those coasters are so unique. I love how these projects turned out. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for this one. If you'd like to see more of what I've done, I've got a farm table build here. I've got a vintage window cabinet here. Please don't forget to subscribe because we got a lot more coming through in the future. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.